Well, today I want to tell you about some herbal supplements that I'm taking. Actually, I have a previous video on my Circle Time Kids Club where I'm speaking about lysine, but I want to give an up-to-date um, herbal supplement, same one lysine that I'm taking now, because through, since that video, I my body has gone through a lot of changes. I've gotten a little bit more mature. <laughs> so I just wanted to um, be um, genuine and honest with you about different supplements that I have, that I'm still taking, but I have changed um, by watching or looking at the certain ingredients in them because they have affected me. Now, in that previous video, um, I got a lot of um, feedback on lysine. And the reason why I was taking lysine is because my skin was very irritated. Uh, I was suffering from eczema. And a lot of my eczema came from me taking a blood pressure pill for hypertension that was prescribed by a doctor. Now, the issue with that was the blood pressure pill had irritated my skin. Now, I've, all through my life, I've always had sensitive skin. However, uh, this particular blood pressure pill had magnesium stearate in it. So, what is magnesium stearate in it? So, I'm going to just read to you exactly what it is because this is what um, possibly this type of uh, chemical is in a lot of the products and vitamin supplements that we take and all vitamin and supplements are not alike and sometimes you may think oh well, I can't take vitamins yes you can take vitamins you can take herbal supplements it depends on the ingredients that's in them so you have to be aware and read those ingredients because they can affect um, your body and you can take the same supplement without this inter this certain um, ingredient. So the ingredient that I was taking that was um, really bothering my skin is called magnesium stearate. And magnesium stearate is the magnesium salt of the fatty acid, steric acid. It's widely used for many decades in the food industry as an emulsifier, binder and thickener, as well as an anti-caking lubricant release and anti-foaming agent. Now, to simplify that, magnesium stearate is in a lot of herbal supplements and prescription meds because it helps keep the shelf life of that medicine or supplement. So that is why um, a lot of times companies, uh, they in chemical labs, they use those to help prolong the um, life of that medication. The downfall of that is sometimes you can be allergic to that. And I didn't know that was a thing. And I just thank God for revealing because I've always had sensitive skin, but not to the point where I was scratching constantly. And it also, um, with me scratching so much, whenever you're um, when you have itchy or irritated, inflamed skin, you tear your skin with your nails and you just do it un um, haphazardly because you're itching so much. Now, if you never had this issue, then this may sound strange to you, but people who are out there that are suffering from eczema and skin irritations, they know exactly what I'm talking about, the excessive scratching that you cannot help. And you do it even unconsciously um, in your sleep, you're scratching. And that's what my skin was doing. Um, and it was a reaction from the magnesium stearate that was in my blood pressure medicine. And I thank God for revealing it through my oldest daughter. She's the one that told me about the magnesium stearate. She was researching it. And um, we were trying to find out why was I itching so much. And so she read about this. Um, chemical called magnesium stearate and she said well mom that's in that's a lot in your blood pressure medicine and so um, she looked up the blood pressure medicine I was taking and it was that magnesium stearate so I'm not before I go any further, always consult with your doctor, but I'm just telling you things that have, that worked out for me. So I had to stop with that blood pressure medicine. And when I did, my skin just turned into like, it was like a breath of fresh air. It was like night and day. Um, it started to clear up. Um, my skin also um, decided to heal. And one of the things that I took to help heal, um, do wound care on my skin or heal is this herbal supplement called lysine. And I also looked on the ingredients in the back because you can go to your local um, 
vitamin shops or different places to, that sells herbal supplements. And they have a lot of great um, um, products to set that they offer for your skin. But if you see one, and I didn't know, think it was a thing till I spoke to a um, cashier that was in there. She was sharing with me that the magnesium stary also was um, had inflamed her skin and it made her um, skin just as itchy. So it, it is a it is a it is a real thing that can um, really affect your skin. And some people they can take magnesium stary, it doesn't bother them at all. But for me it was very detrimental for my skin. So I found this lysine, and I am not getting paid for any of this. I'm just trying to help someone out there um, that may deal with a lot of skin irritation. Lysine is an herbal supplement, and on this one, this one is by Pure um, Encapsulations. That's the company. And these are hypoallergenic, non-GMO, gluten-free. However, this one, this lysine does not have magnesium stearate in it. And you want to read um, your supplements, the ingredients that's in them, because that shows um, it, it will have it on the back, magnesium stearate. As soon as I see that, I don't even use that supplement at all because I know that that is something that's going to affect me in a neg affect my body in a negative way. So, like I said, some people it may not work, it may not bother you, but if you find yourself like um, break having different breakouts and you're taking supplements, don't think you cannot take um, herbal supplements. You can. It just depends on. Um, the different types of, um, it depends on the, what's the ingredients that's going in the herbal supplement. Now, one that I do love, vitamin C is what we need. Um, and I know this is about lysine. I'm going to get back on lysine. However, um, if you go to the stores, different different places, you buy them off the shelf, it, a lot of those products are filled with magnesium stearate in them. Because remember, that is to keep the shelf life of that herbal supplement. That's why they include that. But I do love um, Garden of Life um, sells a vitamin C herbal supplement with no magnesium stearate. has a lot of organic ingredients, and my body reacts well to that. So I'm just saying if... Um, you find that you think you can't take herbal supplements, just read the ingredients and maybe um, whatever is in the, get try to get that supplement with the most purest form. But I know the magnesium stearate in most supplements, that's what's going to, um, that's probably what's affecting you or breaking you out. Now, what exactly is lysine? Why did I start taking lysine? Like I said earlier, getting older, I noticed, I'm going to take my glasses off. And I do have previous pictures that I had these little lines formulated, and you can still see um, right. Well, you probably can't, but um, <laughs> I noticed myself that um, there was a little a little line around my eyes, a little puffiness or dark circles, and I noticed that um, I was developing those little fine wrinkles. Like I was looking at women who were who were double my age, beautiful skin, smooth skin, no wrinkles, no anything. And I was noticing that my skin was starting to droop. Now, again, like I was stating, I had changed my diet since that previous video of lysine. I was eating a lot of red meat. I was also um, uh, eating regular cheese and um, I am back to eating cheese, but I eat a certain kind of cheese, and that's another video. <laughs> but I was trying to figure out before I discovered the magnesium stearate what was the problem with my skin. And I didn't want to consume so much red meat. I'm not against the red meat, but I just didn't want to consume as much. So I noticed that I started developing these fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes like I would get up in the morning and I noticed I had a lot of um, puffiness dark circles and and wrinkles and lysine helps with that um, help develop um, smooth your skin out and it helps with curing that so now let me read to you about lysine what that is and that is an herbal supplement I did order mine from Amazon mom um, and again, always read the ingredients, but that's where my lysine came from. I did not um, get it off, um, go to a store uh, because they just did not sell it. But it is an, lysine is an essential amino acid and you can get it from your diet since your body cannot produce a lot of it on its own. Really, it's just um, lysine means the molecule is in its natural form. 
Um, you need it on a daily basis, and it's good for treating acne. It's also good for treating wrinkles. Um, if you have different wounds, that's what my skin needed to heal, so I needed to take lysine. Like if you notice there are people in the hospitals who have bed sores and things, or if you had... Um, different types of um maybe you've been in like in an accident or something scarring uh you definitely need to take care take something for internally you just can't just always put everything external both helps external helps to um put things on your wounds um externally but also you want to heal from the inside as well and yes there are different types of foods that you can take um that that has um lysine in it however if you're like me, I don't really want to um, consume a lot of different types of foods at one time and on a daily basis. So I just prefer taking the herbal supplement. Now, um, lysine is also a healthy collagen production for wound healing and, and it controls the excess sebum in your skin, which is basically like oils and stuff. Now, um, I'm going to read to you some of the foods that have that um has lysine in them um, the best sources of lysines are meat dairy fish legumes nuts quinoa and amaranth amaranth <laughs> amaranth amaranth <laughs> I don't know what that is, <laughs> but my, why mostly, and that's a type of green. I just probably pronounced it wrong. Um, and they are, um, low in this amino acid. However, um, different types of, um, ways of healing your skin from the inside out is to take a herbal supplement called lysine, uh, vitamin C. I'll do another whole video on vitamin C. Vitamin C is very good for fine lines and wrinkles. If you notice you want to, um, you have sagging skin. Um, there are people who are vegetarian. They're not eating um, meat a lot. So you take these herbal supplements and that helps with picking your skin up. And you all, I have seen a very big difference in my skin just within a matter of weeks of me taking um this um supplement lysine the one that does not have the magnesium stearate now in my previous video that one had um magnesium stearate in it so when i discovered that my skin was acting reacting bad from the blood pressure one with magnesium stearate i said oh no i'm not playing with this magnesium stearate anything that has that in it i'm not going to take that anymore and i noticed that um my skin just breathes very it just it's like a whole it's like a whole new world i thank god for his healing and i pray for you if you're having problems with your skin and need help with healing. You always want to go from the inside as well. You just don't want to keep, um, like myself, going to a dermatologist and getting all of these expensive creams, ointments. I used to get cortisone shots. Had to stop with the cortisone shots because they make your bones brittle and it can cause other complications in your body. And I was so happy. And thank you, God. Oh, my goodness. I am so grateful that um, he has directed me to um, different supplements that don't have the chemicals in it that's going to hurt me but also I can take the herbal supplements and still feel good in my skin good in my body and um, get the help that I need so that's all I have to say for lysine and let me tell you how um, I take this you can take one in the morning and you take one in the afternoon you take it two times a day one in the morning and it says between meals um, you can take it, but, um, you do two a day. I take two a day and, um, I have noticed, um, that, um, my skin is healed from all of the scratching. It, I'm still in recovery because it's been about a year or so since I have stopped with, um, that type of, um, uh, blood pressure medication. And I'm not telling anyone out there to stop your blood pressure medicine by all means, um, do what's good for you. Consult with your doctor always. However, I'm talking about for me, I had to use other alternatives to keep my blood pressure levels low, which is changing my diet on eating. And it's not even dramatic as you think it is. Um, and, and I, that's a whole nother, um, 
episode as well. <laughs> but um, you can still enjoy your food um, and use sodium, but you have to use a healthier sodium. There are healthier sodiums out there that you can use other than just going plain salt free. So um, I've noticed that and my blood pressure levels I've, have been low. So I thank God for that and normal. Thank you for that. Um, that is all I have to say about the lysine. Uh, I hope that something I said will help you with it. If you um, are experienced of these, any of these things, again, please consult with your doctor. However, I'm just keeping it real with you. Sometimes you'll tell a doctor something and they'll be like, what is that? Uh, I don't know about that. Huh? I mean, in the medical field, they really snub their nose about homeopathic things. So I just went to Dr. Jesus because <laughs> I was telling my doctor that my skin was messed up. And that doctor was like, oh, well, you still got to get your blood pressure. But meanwhile, um, I'm suffering because it's very uncomfortable when you have scratchy skin and you have to do your daily tasks. So um, I just ask you to just go within yourself. Listen to your body. If your body is reacting or have a bad side effect about something, um, I don't recommend that you keep doing that because you're hurting yourself. And if you have a medical professional that is telling you, well, take it anyway, then I definitely tell you to just find you another medical professional <laughs> to help you. But um, I just want to say that because sometimes we can talk to our doctors, but the doctors say have their own um, way of thinking and um, they have their own um, choices of how, what they feel, uh, personal things. But if your body, you listen to your body, if your body is reacting negative to something, a medication that you're on, then you need to um, navigate to find something else that's going to be healthy for your body in its entirety. Help with the situation and help with um, your healing process, but in a good way because you should not live in this world miserable. You should not be um, getting, taking prescription medication and you feel worse and you're just feeling miserable <laughs> than what you did before you had the problem. So um, there is help out there and I pray God gives you a direct lead on something uh, that will help you. However, I'm here and I would like to um, um, take you again on this journey of life of healing herbal supplements, how you can heal from the inside out, uh, different foods as well that you can use, utilize for healing. And I have many, many more supplements that I do take and I promise you, I feel so much better since I have um, started um, researching things for myself. And, and I've gone to my doctors and um, the, in particular, um, I have gotten positive results of saying, oh, well, hmm. you know, <laughs> well, that seems like it's doing good for you. But um, I encourage you to always... Um, take your health into your own hands because no one's going to care for you, love you, um, feel for you like your body, like you and your, you are your body's advocate. So you have to go the extra mile when it comes to taking care of yourself. Well, I thank you for watching. Thank you for listening and pray that whatever is ailing you in your body, that God will give you directly for a healing source. And I hope something that I say can help you along. Until next time, bye-bye. Please like or subscribe to this channel. We thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And hopefully that we can say something that's going to empower you, encourage you, and make you feel better about your everyday life.